Hey, what's up guys? Second Kerberry here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the genetic imprinter from Gendistry. Now, this is a, this is a very helpful block, um, mainly to do with bees and trees, so that way your bees and trees can have the uh, traits that you want on them. Say, for example, like you want a cultivated bee that is a fast worker and has a really long lifespan. Well, you can do that with a genetic imprinter. All you have to have is the uh, the gene samples from the bees. I'll go over I'll go over like uh, gene splicing in a different tutorial. But anyway, the genetic imprinter, the way it works, you're going to need power, as with every other block in the gen industry mod. So give it some power. It has an internal capacitor of four million RF, so it'll take a while to fill it up. But it doesn't use that much. I don't think it uses that much power. I have, uh, I'll have to double check my facts, but whatever. So. In order for the genetic imprinter to work, you're going to need a genetic template with uh, with some gene samples on it, and you're also going to need at least uh, at least one set of genetics labware. I would just put a stack in just to keep uh, just to uh, just to be safe. So I'm going to fill this genetic template up with some uh, with some gene samples, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just made a genetic template. It ignores day night, fast speed, longest lifespan, and tolerant fly, which means it'll be able to fly in the rain. So. Now the genetic template is, uh, is applied here, I can take a bee, any kind, let's get it cultivated. Get a cultivated queen, for example. Just put the bee, uh, just put the bee in, it'll consume, uh, it'll consume some genetics labware, and, uh, and in a few seconds, it'll, uh, it'll output the bee with the traits that I specified. So basically, uh, so basically, all the other, all the other chromosomes are, uh, all the other chromosomes are not touched. Uh, it so basically, basically the uh, the the chromosomes that are touched are the ones ap applied to the genetic template. The other ones, uh, the other ones are completely ignored. So now this, uh, so now this bee has longest life, is a fast worker, and uh, it is diurnal, nocturnal, and it is a tolerant flyer, which means it'll be able to process in the rain, which doesn't matter in this world because uh, because that command block over there kind of disables the rain. Alrighty, so genetic imprinter. To make it, you're going to need four bronze gears from any mod, a power module, a genetics processor, two B receptacles, and a sturdy casing. The power module is made with two gold, four bronze gears, two pistons, and a piece of redstone. B receptacles are made with five bronze, a glass pane, two redstone, and a light weighted pressure plate, aka the gold one. And the genetics processor. You can either make that in an assembly table with two nether quartz, a pulsating chipset, two diamonds, and 100,000 RF, or shape crafting with four diamonds, four nether quartz, and a pulsating chipset. No, this is with buildcraft recipes enabled, so I do not know what it is without buildcraft. Sorry. Anyway, the genetic imprinter, like I said, is uh, used to fine tune your bees to make uh, to make them do what you want uh, without uh, without all the tedious breeding, which uh, tip uh, it's basically what the entire gen industry mod is about. Just breeding bee uh, breeding bees and perfecting them without uh, without having to deal with all the without having to deal with all the breeding crap. Because <laughs> I mean. Bee breeding, bee breeding was like uh, bee breeding is like one of the most tedious things in forestry, but it's highly worth it if you're if you have that much patience. But gen industry makes it easier, so whatever. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for this little brief look at the genetic imprinter from the forestry mod. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel, as it helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it to me on Google+. Don't mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later!